Call to order this meeting of the County Commission for Wednesday, January the 27th, 2016. President Callan is currently in Washington representing us, so I am President Pro Temp by way of a coin flip. And we also have present myself as well as Commissioner Tom Bloom. Would you all please rise <laughs> for a silent moment for meditation and within the pledge of allegiance to the flag. Thank you. Thank you. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Be fair. All right. Renata, what do you have for us? Consents and approval. Um, I have fiduciary orders <coughs> as well to be signed if you approve them, but I'll have to have Judy change the page, so don't sign it. Okay. <laughs> what all do we have? <laughs> okay, we have 11 exonerations today for $5,723.43. Fiduciary matters, uh, fiduciary orders, excuse me, for January 27, 2016. General County vouchers, 1,000, I'm sorry, scratch that, it's a lot more than 1,000. 197,482.22. 911 cash, 15,412.63. Chestnut Ridge Park, 683.81. Mason Dixon Park, 153.08. Picard Vouchers, General County, $8,090.03. And 911 uh, Picard Voucher, 144.61. For a total of 221,966.38. Motion to approve. <laughs> Move to approve. <laughs> I just want <was> second. <laughs> There's been a motion to approve. <laughs> All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Uh, we do not have any uh, induction, introduction of new employees, okay. uh, but we do have some um, position vacancies for okay. board and authorities to announce. Uh, we have a, a, a position on the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, this person must reside in Western Planning District. The appointment would be to January 1st of 2019. Mm -hmm. We also have two positions on the MECA Policy Board. Those two would be expire on February 1st of 2019. Mon County Transit Authority, the position would be for, through uh, 2018, December 31st, 2018. And then we also have another position on that board. It's a joint appointment with the City of Morgantown, so we would nominate somebody and if they would agree or vice versa um that that would also expire 12 30 okay so do, I, do you need a motion anything? to post them or can you just post them we can just post them okay. but i just wanted to make sure that and ben may run those in the paper for us thank okay. you any interested citizens please come forth so comments from the public Hearing none, we will close comments from the public. Renetta, any grants? Yes. Um, I have one reimbursement request for the signature, and I, I've actually put Eldon's um, name at the bottom, so I just ask for permission when he comes back into town that he can go ahead and sign this and we'll get it out. This is for the HUD grant for MAYSP for the month of December, $1,037.48. <coughs> So move. Second. <laughs> Properly moved and seconded to approve. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? One signature there, Tom. Oh, okay. 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 Any others? No, that's all. Good. Um, I would just like to bring one up that to be aware that uh, I got I received the call from Martin Vossen who sent us a letter. They he is applying again because of that uh, documentary the to the West Virginia Humanities <coughs> Grant. He wanted us to know it. He'll be sending it to Renetta, and I'm just going to ask, in fact, I'll ask a motion that is it okay that she sign it, and we would do what we did before as the actor. I'll second that. We have a motion. We'll go ahead and proceed with this on this grant. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That resolves that. Thank you. Anything else, Renetta? Uh, no, that's all I have. Okay. 
Do we have somebody to read the proclamation? You hear from Empty Bowl? Good. Oh, good. Good. Up? We're a little bit early, but since you're here, would you enter? Please state your name as well as the record. And My name is Zachary Tartt. Are you we are ahead we are ahead of schedule. Are you are, are you expecting another party? Let's put it that way. Okay, okay. If you would also have an introduction then I'm Michael Ibrahim. I'm a saxophone professor at WVU, and I'm assisting empty bowls with some of their publicity efforts. And I'm happy to be here today. Go for it. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, whereas hunger and poverty are issues of serious concern in the United States and the state of West Virginia and Monongalia County, and whereas the Monongalia County Commission is committed to educating its citizenry about the role and importance of food banks and related organizations in addressing hunger and raising awareness of the need to devote more resources and attention to hunger issues. And whereas Feeding America, a nationwide network of food banks, states that in 2013, 15.6% of the population, or 15,380 people in Monongalia County were food insecure, and 16.4%, or 2,570 children in Monongalia County were food insecure. And whereas Feeding America states that an additional $7,613,000 is required in Monongahela County to meet the additional needs of the food insecure population. And now, therefore, the Monongahela County Commission hereby proclaim February 2016 as Combat Hunger Month in Monongahela County and urges all citizens to participate in efforts to end homelessness in our community. Thank you. Do we have a motion to accept and have this proclamation signed? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys. Uh, you really. If you give that to us, we'll yes, sign it. We'll, yes. Do all these fancy do that. Commissioner Callan is not here, so yes. when he signs it, I will send the original right. to you in the mail. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with what Empty Bowls does in the community, it is a, would you like to elaborate just for a second? Yes, yeah, and when is Why it? Not? Yeah, yeah, and the, uh, the first event coming up, because they also do the chili cook-off. Right. Okay, yes, so sir. there's a couple the, uh, of events. So our big super grid luncheon is coming up on February 27th at Milan Park at the Community Center. Uh, the organization raises uh, funds and awareness in the community about uh, food security and some of the problems that food security uh, entails. Um, with the big event coming up, we're really in our final push now to get to that event, and our, we, we hope to raise $140,000 this year and put about $120,000 uh, back into the community directly uh, to help food pantries, backpack programs, feeding programs, um, and we do everything we can to raise funds in, in that regard. Uh, come out to the event, and we really encourage everybody to come. It is a phenomenal event. We, we're hoping to sell about 3,000 tickets this year, so we're hoping for a, a big, well-attended event. Thank you. I very rarely choose to stand in line. I must be honest with you, but I do stand in line yes. for the soups that are available here, Excellent. and I do go back. They are great. Great idea. Thank you very yes. much. <clears throat> okay. Correspondence. We just have um, an unfinished item and then a correspondence. Um, we had some correspondence last week with the county clerk's office regarding the Jody Hunt estate. Yes. Uh, the county clerk's office has exercised due diligence. They have looked for a fiduciary commissioner, this county, surrounding counties, and cannot find one. So the question was posed that we should uh, ask the sheriff if he would have any conflict with being the executor of the estate, or oversee the estate. He says that he does have a conflict. So uh, after talking to Phil Megra, our attorney, he recommended that we send it back to the fiduciary department and that they inquire with any creditors towards the estate for interest in administering um, the estate. And, and I, would I, would, I would move to, to do that, to send it back. Yes. Okay. Second. It's been properly moved and seconded to refer back to the fiduciary. Any other discussion on this? If not, aye. Aye. Please. Oh, okay. sorry. Um, just interesting, when we talk to Judy in her 30 years, this is the first time this has ever happened. With where The worst case scenario has happened. Yeah, I, of course, uh, we did discuss the possibility of going 
to other sheriffs, I believe, outside of the county. It, Phil said that that would not be a possibility. Yeah, okay, not it is not possible. Okay, no. mm -hmm. all right. Let the judge decide. Other correspondence. Um, that <coughs> is all the other correspondence that I have. Okay. Unfinished business. I do have one item. Okay. Um, the Scotts Run Volunteer Fire Department um, <laughs> has had a public hearing regarding the purchase, a lease purchase agreement for a 1989 Pierce aerial ladder truck to purchase for the department. And at this point, they're asking for our approval um, that they have followed the procedures, they've, had, they've advertised, they've had a public hearing, and they have documented their service area. Um, Mike Wolf, I had received a certification from him. He did um, certify that the, the service, service area that they listed is correct. So at this point, they're just asking for your signature on the certification page that they have followed all of the procedures. Your Honor, may I go for one minute and get the material that you yes. got? Because I thought that was very interesting. Okay. Please do. As a matter of, I understand this is simply a formality Correct. and not, we are not, the Commission does not have the ability to say no. Um, it's only that we're signing that the procedure has been proper. Okay. Correct. So what I mean by saying no, it's not our, within our realm to say no, you can't purchase a, a, a ladder truck yeah. Thank right, you. or an aerial truck. Did you want me to just read a couple things or did you want... Okay. Go right ahead, please. Uh, I appreciate uh, the pro tem president. Uh, what we, had, we were, first of all, uh, he has been attending all the meetings and so he has probably more knowledge than the other two of us. But in the commission grant for... Uh, county grant funds, they requested $80,000, but the concern was, here's the problem. If county funds are not appropriate, what is the future of the project or services? And it says, shut down. Now, I, my concern is here they're saying 80000 shut down, and now they're going to buy a truck for... Uh, so I, I have some real concerns. And, and I don't know, like you said, I, I don't know what to do, but I think there clearly is a problem here. Maybe you could clarify a little more or, just confusion. Well, all I have to, it, well, this was not brought up at any of the meetings that I've attended. All I have to add to this is that there seems to be um, something that wishes to be purchased. I think this is a 1989 vehicle. Uh, so you're purchasing something that's 25 years old, 26 mm -hmm. years old, 27 years old. Uh, I don't know that need is a, an issue here now. That may be so. I would like I would like to at least be able to sit down with these individuals mm -hmm. uh, before they actually make the purchase. We can't stop the purchase, but I would like to speak to them uh, concerning this because is this something that really you want to go forward with uh, in light of the fact of what was written last year as a budget request proposal and, in fact, in light of what we may or may not have to do this year um, with right. the availability of funds through the lack of the coal severance tax. It's merely a matter of understanding. Uh, each department, of course, is free to run their department as they see fit, but they should be ran in the best feasible way manner to service the public as well as to take care of the citizens as well as to look to the budget. So uh, do uh, I hear a motion, however, to accept this? You know, this, is, this is simply on the procedure. Uh, oh, this is just, a, okay, this is, yes. so this motion is just, to, okay, th so I will move to approve the procedure yes. that we have received this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, the form is Second. asking for the president's signature, so would it be acceptable to, for him to just sign it? And it adds the pro tem allow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll let, right. yeah. I'll second that. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So uh, one of the questions. Are you wishing for them to come into a I think that's a great idea. One of the questions I'd like to. Okay. Okay. It's just easier for me to schedule myself at sure. the fire department and meet with the chief rather than to, to you know, bring them into chambers. One of the questions I'd like you to ask is how many three-story buildings are located in that area? Now, if it's the pleasure of commission yes. that you wish them to come in for work session. No, I've had I'm, no. I'm not trying to No, no, that. not at all. I think it'd okay. probably be easy if you go in okay. and ask. And, and it doesn't look like it's an adversarial. It's just it's more not. informational. No, this is, okay. you know, we, 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 we're only seeking information here. Okay, thank you. So, thank you. All right, any other unfinished business? No, sir. Okay, good. Any new business? No, sir. Uh, 
just, and I think maybe this might be the time. I, I, I want to, uh, on behalf of the three county commissioners, but I'm saying personally, we went through what was snowmageddon, all the different snow crisis, and I, I cannot say enough about first Mike Wolf and the committee that we were on and everyone involved and all parts that really we were proactive this time. And from what I was told and got several calls from other counties, how did we do it was the question because we were working so well together and the information went out. I think one thing that this county commission did differently in the past is we made all information as soon as we got it public. Whereas in the past, for whatever reason, they felt maybe not to give out the information. But because of that, um, I received two Facebook messages that I think were really important. One was from a senior citizen and another from an individual who had a child on oxygen and said they were real worried every year when these things happen. But it was the first time they were very comfortable knowing that they were safe and knew who to call and what to do. So I really want to thank them. I also want to thank not only the, you know, the DOH and those workers who, who work constantly to get it done, but, but at, at times the WVU gets a bad rap. And I, I want to personally thank WVU and those individuals who work with WVU. We came up with a new idea. The three of us came up with an idea to keep the medical road, emergency road open from 60, from 68 to, what's the hill that goes up? Eastern, Eastern Hill to the uh, mile ground, to the hospital, to the Coliseum, <coughs> and back down to 79. We asked them for only one thing, Hartman Monroe, Road, to make sure those roads were done constantly. And that's all they were in charge of. This freed up DOH and it freed up so that the, when the hospital shifts changed, the ro that road had two lane always open and that we've never done before and the county is paying for it and you know that to me is something that we worked with WVU they didn't have to do it did we go in quote the city property but it was a state route yes because we felt that it was an emergency crisis and one of the, th the things I'd like to come out of this is one I'd like to meet with everyone as a group again set something up um, we'll call Mike if you call Mike to set something to talk about the positive and concerns that may have come up, um, because I think that's I think that was good. The second thing that also came up was the possibility, and I think we need to look at during emergency if we could come up with a kind of like a towing with the towing policy. If we had a list of since there were a lot of companies that already were cleaning, you know, parking lots and so on, but there may be a list of excavators or something like that that we could have a list and just go down the list and say if we have an area working with DOH, yes. I really think that worked. I really think, I mean, you look, we had 28 inches, really. And as much as people are concerned and, and complaining, I think they did an exceptional job. And I really want to congratulate the other two commissioners and Mike, because everybody worked together, the police chiefs and, you know, and everyone, and it seemed to work really well. So with your permission, too, I'd like to, like to do that. I think it would be an excellent idea, really. Uh, and Mike is coming in next week. Yes. Okay. Report, yeah. Report. Well, you always look look at we review what is going on and then see what Im, you know improvements you can make in the procedure. But uh, you know it was. And really I do want WVU officials there because with all the positive things, I do have to show. And I mean, and I know even the DA wrote, Morgantown firefighters deserve students' respect. There were some minor incidents that happened, but those are the things overall. You know, we're going to discuss that, but I do want to congratulate everyone. And, and in fact, I'm thrilled. I, I'm, I'll tell you, I heard Channel 11 call me. I mean, people were asking, how did we do it? And I, I just want to say, Mike Wolf and everyone, thank you. It was great. Okay. Reports from elected officials. <laughs> Move it along. Okay. Oh, okay. What, Sorry. What Tom said, I think we probably need an after-incident debriefing. Yes. yes to see where we can go with this, because our Cranville did a fantastic job, mm -hmm. which we prepared all week for. Right. right. Because we got more smaller, we have we don't have the um, roadways and stuff that Watertown has, but we had our roads open by Sunday morning, and it was all clear. Yeah. Down to the pavement, basically. And I've seen some things that we could have done better. Mm -hmm. I've seen some things that we probably need to prepare for in case of another event like this. 
I think historically when an El Nino does uh, is to present a greater chance of having this happen in the next two months. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not negative or positive about this, but when I, I do read and, and follow the Weather Channel, and that seems to be what happens in the event of El Nino's. So. If I can add, I would be remiss to thank the public yes. and the businesses and WVU. We asked them to close early. We asked them to stay off the road, and those roads were clear because people didn't jump on the road to drive around to see how bad it was. No. So, and, and, and that says something to our community, too. And I think the businesses and the, the community deserve much of the credit, too. So. Oh, yes. Yep. And as you said, Mac had kept us up to oh, date on yep. what Unbelievable. Worked. I mean, it, was, it just worked smooth. Yes. <laughs> And yeah. at that point, I'd like to volunteer to work for the uh, Mecca Policy Board. If that would be oh, good. well, okay. Well, so I need to submit very a good. letter of anything. Yeah, you better submit yes, a letter. Please. We don't have to interview you because we, we know, know you've done it. <laughs> you, yes, if you'd submit a letter, that would be great. Excellent. It. Okay. That makes one easier. Kelly, we're still on uh, official reports. Do you have anything to add? Nothing? She today. has no voice. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I she will. was out there with the kids on Spruce Street <laughs> In 40 years of practicing dentistry, I lost my voice one day. My assistant at the time of all 40 years declared that that was the best day of her life outside of <laughs> giving birth to her two children. My wife okay. said the same thing to me. <laughs> Tom, do you have any other report? Um, just that uh, I just want you to know that uh, tonight I, hap I happened to uh, run into the WVU student body president, and he told me that there was a meeting tonight, and one of the – while on Facebook and while you're for 48 hours sitting there, actually, there was a good idea that came across. Um, there are other areas, in fact, North, North Marion High School has it and other areas in the country that have what called a uh, closet pantry, basically that had not only food <coughs> but clothing, necessities, and it was neat. It was a, They call it closet because it's quiet and the kids know to go to a counselor or a teacher it's in another part of the office. They'd let them go in, get what they need, and stop. So I threw that out to the WV student body president and said, would you want to be a part of this? And with Rourke Sizemore, who's a mentor. So we're all going to go there and propose it. And I think it's a nice idea and a good PR for, yep. for them. I also am going to see if they have any concerns to bring it back. And I am going to mention a little bit about, you know, what we could possibly do about that situation. But... But I did want you to know that I'm, I'm going there. I was going to tell Empty Bowls, but I thought I'd rather stay here. But I think it's a great idea for the different schools to have it. I know some schools have it with a church, but it would be great to have it right there so a student can say, hey, look, I don't have any more jeans or socks or something. And I thought, and then I'll bring back a report okay. to you all. That'll be great. That's it. Anything else? We are having recycling. Recycling is back. <laughs> So recycling is back, so we want you to know. Oh, also, February 3rd, again, yes. 6.30 to 8.30. And we want it clear. The meeting is a public meeting to discuss how we can fund non-county agencies and such areas as library, um, uh, transit. transit, recreation. And I'm, you know what? And now I may put in there... Uh, uh, Recreation. Health department. Yes. I just saw well, that they lost a quarter of. Well, they haven't lost. Haven't lost it. They no. may lose. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. So. Yeah. Pursuant to that, that that's a. Yeah. That's a that's a proposed twenty five percent cut, which right. I thought was a little bit onerous, considering what uh, you know they what considering what the health department does. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, anything else? That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I've discovered now that going last, uh, I don't have anything that I have to cover. Um, I would like to. No, I would like to thank everybody uh, for staying off the roads, uh, mm -hmm. for being safe. Really, I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see people out there doing what I consider doing foolish things. Um, again, we do have a chamber of commerce dinner that's coming up on this Friday. Uh, so those of you who have been in attendance of that on, uh, on Friday, I'll be there if you uh, want to discuss anything relative to what is going on in our community. Motion to adjourn? Oh, move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Hello.